Hi there, it's Jeannie Rainey again, back to share a fun card with you. First of all, I want to tell you what I used to make this card. The Good Morning Magnolia Stamp Set, the Magnolia Memory Dies, and the Magnolia Lane Designer Series Papers. This is how I store my Designer Series Papers. I cut them all down to a 4x6 and store them in one of our cases and put the label along the side so I can just stack them up on a shelf neatly and I can find them easily. And also I wanted to share that with the stamp sets that come in two cases, I put them together in one. They fit nicely in one case and then it takes less space to store. So there's a couple of tips for you. This is the beautiful card. This was inspired by Mary Deathrich. I want to thank you for the inspiration so that I can share with my friends. There you go. It is, you can either put money inside or a gift card. And there's the matching envelope. So let's get started on this card. One more thing I wanted to share about our DSP. There is um, one of the dies that actually coordinates with the DSP and we'll be using this flower um, in our card today. And I just wanted to share that sometimes our, our dies coordinate with our DSPs that makes it really handy. So we'll start out with our base is 11 by five and a half and we're gonna score it. Score it at two and five eighths. We're gonna score. Get our cutting blade out of the way. Okay, two and five eighths, and six and seven eighths. Two score lines. There we go to get our point right here. So halfway between five and a half um, is two and five eighths. So I'm just gonna measure right from here, two and four eighths, and one more eighth is right here. So this is how we are going to make our point from the first score line. I wanna put a crease in there so you can see where it is to this point. Put the point right on the score line or the cut line and go to this score. Cut that side off and then do the same thing on the other side. So you go to the score line to your little mark. That's going to give us our flap. Okay, then we're going to use these two pieces. Now what I've already measured, um, the middle point there, so I just lined up my cardstock in the same, I centered it so I can get my center point there for our points. So we're basically going to do the same thing. Now this uh, cardstock layer is two and a half by five and a fourth this way, and then the DSP layer is two and three eighths by four and seven eighths this way. So we'll get our markings, put the point uh, that we marked, cut that off, go to the opposite side the same way, put our point there, cut that off. Then we have our DSP layer. And we're gonna, or our um, cardstock layer. Now for our DSP, we can see our point. If the paper is too dark, you can turn it over and use the other side so you can see the markings better. Don't want to move it. This has to be right. At the corner there. Move that out of the way. There 
go. Then we have our last layer for the top, which is our DSP. Then we are done with our trimmer. Now let's layer this together. We want to have a little bit of border all the way around. There we go, that's good. Then we have our DSP that we're going to put on the outside. Leave a little bit of border all the way around that. Then we have the DSP for the inside. Excuse me, this is not DSP. This is just the cardstock. Then we're going to do some stamping. We want our basic flower. We're going to do that in early espresso. We're just going to put flower here. This is going to go on the inside. I'm not going to put that there yet. We want to also decorate our envelope. So we're going to put a flower right on the outside of the envelope, the front of it. Then we need our sentiment. We're going to say thinking of you and that is going to be in Mossy Meadow. There we go. That's all the stamping we're going to do. Then we're going to color our flowers with the blends. Now, the blends will soak through, so I just have some of my grid paper to put inside the envelope so that it doesn't soak through to the back. I like to color with the light color first. Not too much color. Is go in with my dark afterwards. Then go with my greens, light colored first. I think this one is a leaf. dark. Just a little bit of shading there. That's enough color. Then I can finish up the inside of the card. See how the, the blends leak through your paper. So that's why I wanted to protect it with putting some grid paper on the inside of my envelope so it didn't go through. Okay, there is one more I wanted to stamp. The outside of the card, we're gonna say hello. We're gonna do that in the early espresso. 
going to stamp over to the left side. There we go. And I cut this out with the shape from the Stitched So Sweetly dies for the top of my card. And then a couple more things here cut these out, the leaves, and here's the beautiful flower that cut out of the D designer series paper with the die, and it leaves a nice border around it. So I'm going to make my little money holder or gift card holder. Right above here. And you'll be able to see that you can slide slide something into that little pocket. Okay, now for the front. Finish this up. We're going to use um, dimensionals. Wanted to share this idea with you. I've seen other people putting stripes through their dimensionals, and that way, when you have them on your project. You can see by the line which ones you need to take the tops off of. They're very sticky and oh, before I do that, let me put my flower on here. I'm going to put this to the right side of my hello sentiment. And then the leaves I'm going to just put underneath. And there. And on this side. And I think the little one I will slide under here. Take my pick tool, lift it up a little bit, slide that under there. There we go. All right. So I've got my dimensionals on here. It's going to lift it up a little bit and that's going to allow the room for the ribbon right in the middle. And what you can do is you can put your ribbon down to determine how far apart you need to put your dimensionals. So I want this to go right about there. Okay, then the last thing I need to do is my envelope. I'm gonna put some matching designer series paper on the envelope. So I'm just going to take my glue right around the edge of the flap and my designer series paper. I cut it down just a little bit one side so that it fits on the envelope. Then I just turn this over and trim it off. have a matching envelope for my card. Let's put the ribbon in now. We'll just slide it in and make a bow. We can do that. Now it doesn't want to cooperate, but I'll try it this way. There we go. There you go. There you have it. So you see how they're a little bit different with our designer series papers. It takes all the guesswork out of it. You don't have to uh, think about your mixing and matching. 
We could even um, change out the envelopes, switch them between the different cards, but wouldn't that make a nice card gift set? Thank you for watching my video. I hope this encourages you to try one of these cards too. It's lots of fun. Here's all the measurements for you.